Hi crafters, it's Hannah here from Handcrafted Cards. This is the little project that I'm going to be showing you how to make today. How sparkly and amazing is that? It's a lovely little gift box, but it's not just a box. It's also a card. When I take this ribbon off, the front opens and there's your card. So you can write there or you can write there. Um, this, um, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this um, card box and also tell you about this gorgeous ribbon that you can get for free so I'll be telling you how you can get that so let's get started with today's project okay, so to make our box we're going to start on the <coughs> with a piece of uh, Sahara sand cardstock and that is nine and a quarter inches by twelve so on the nine and a quarter inch side you're going to score at half an inch at one and three quarters of an inch and then at eight inches and then you're going to turn it and score at three inches four and a quarter seven and a quarter eight and a half and eleven and a half so that's three four and a quarter seven and a quarter eight and a half eleven and a half but as always don't worry the measurements will be in the description so if you click show more you'll see the measurements and also there will be a link to the blog post that will have um more pictures and the full product list of everything that I used and also the measurements as well and while you're over there if you need any of the products you can just get them in my online shop that would be awesome and you could join my team group even of hand in blood up yeah you can join my hosty hand oh my goodness my handy hostess club Oh, I will get my words out today. So if you place an order with me and use the hostess code, then you can join the club and I have lots of nice goodies that I can send to you as well. So I'm just folding and burnishing all of those score lines. You have a nice crisp crease. Okie dokie. There we go. Sorted. Right, well, we need to do some cutting. I'm going to flip it around this way. Because that's the way I've got my uh, sketch over the side, do you want to see? There you go. <laughs> so, got my big scissors. I got some new um, Fiskars scissors. Oh my goodness, they cut like amazingly good. Anyway, off the subject completely. Right, I need to cut. We'll start here. So you've got your skinny side here. Cut these two bottom sections away. Can you hear how good they cut? <laughs> then cut down here. Beautiful. Down here. Actually, you can cut down all of these. And cut this big one away. Then on this skinny one, cut that flap off. Away. This next one you're going to cut it away. This skinny one, cut that flap off. And you have that on that side, then just mitre in all these tabs. So I'll show you in a second the inspiration for this box. It was um, 
a little gift that I bought for myself. <laughs> and it was in a really cool box, so I thought, hmm, I think I can recreate that. I'll also show you in a second. So at the top, we'll just flip it around. You're going to cut that skinny section away as well. And then you can just mitre in this tab. And then cut up all of these. might in the tabs as well. Let's do that one again. And then this last one going to cut that away and there you go so that's all of the cutting let me just Place it there so you can have a look to see what your shape should look like. Leave that there for a second. Okay. So this one here, this is where our window is going to be. So you want to take a two inch circle punch and the side that has all of the flaps, that's the side you want to punch on. If that makes sense that end so shove it in as far as you can go and just line the punch up with the edge and that score line there and it will be nice and centered and actually scratch that we'll do that in a second we need to stick the paper on first so ignore that bit for a second I've got some designer series paper so you're falling in love designer series paper which is gorgeous and I've cut that actually, yeah, it does look better that way. Um, actually, no. Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself today. I will um, explain why I'm doing this. This um, design has a top and a bottom, and so I just wanted to make sure that they were all the right way up. So this is cut at two and three quarters by six. These are one inch by six, and then this is two and three quarters by one. And again, the description for the designer series paper or DSP will be in the description along with everything else and over on my blog. And then I've just got a piece of very vanilla that's two and three quarters by six. So this is the placement for our paper. So we will do that first. And I'm just using, whoops, my favourite adhesive, Fast Fuse, but you can use whatever you like. Oops. And it is easy to put your paper on before you stick your box together. rip your paper <laughs> so this is just the two side panels the top panel that I'm putting the paper on. Oops. I'm 
Okay. Now you can punch your hole in this section. And again, just line it up. Oh, a bit of a squeeze because it's through oh, paper and cardstock. And it does not want to go. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's a very thick DSP, I think. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Destroying my desk as I'm crafting. I just want to neaten up this line here just a little bit. I probably can't see it on camera, but I can, and it's bugging me. Okay. So. Now this is going to go together is like this. So you're going to have your panel there. So this is going to stick onto here. And before I do that, I want to do my stamping. But to make sure we get it in the right place, because I want to see these words through the window, I'm going to... Uh, stamp it before I finish putting the box together if that makes sense so I'm just going to grab some inks we've got blushing bride that coordinates with the paper and Sahara sand let me grab Sahara sand and soft sky and maybe a bit of sweet sugar plum as well so those are the four colours that coordinate and very vanilla does as well which is why I'm using very vanilla here. I'm just going to pop these all open. I think my sentiment I'm going to do in do, 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 do. Hmm. sweet sugar plum I think. Let's give it a go and see. So this is lined up where whoops, it's going to be stuck and then that's going to go over top of it like that. I'm just going to ink up my stamp. Stamp through the hole in that way. I know that that's in the right place and then I can carry on stamping the rest of my thing. <laughs> uh, so I've got a few of the pretty 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 stamps and um, I'm going to use the for the bride and groom. I'm going to do that in sweet sugar plum as well. A little bit higher up. Just there. And, okay. And then basically we're just going to fill in the rest of the space with some of these pretty images. And I think they are very, very, very cute. So, uh, let's do some... Blushing Bride, where do I want this? I think I want something around here. So some of this might just poke through the hole after I've stamped. And then just add some up here as well. And a couple of these. Okay. 
then some tiny tiny little buttons as well do some of this in sweet sugar plums that the one I just did. No, it's smaller. <laughs> just a couple of these. Oh, so pretty. Just a couple. And then some Sahara sand with these last few little ones. If you can see what I'm doing, zoom in a little bit. There you go. Yeah. This last little one. So cute. There we go. Okay, and because it's celebration, I'm just going to close these inks, otherwise, I will get them all over myself. Um, I'm going to add some Wink of Stella as well to our sentiment so I'm kind of just tracing over the letters which is good practice if you want to practice your lettering <laughs> this font there you go so you'll just be able to make out a little bit of sparkle on there and now we can put our box together I'm just going to stick this down first get a pop of the words there. Zoom back out. So just some adhesive on this strip here. Oops. Straight if possible. <laughs> Oops. Nope. I <laughs> nearly made a mistake there. It doesn't stick in there. It does that. <laughs> So it will open like that. <laughs> and then that closes. Oh, I just need to grab my little punch just to make a finger hole. This is just a three quarter inch punch. So just to make a finger hole to make it easier to open and close. So that will close and then here you're going to do the those two in then yeah those two in <laughs> then the back one goes down then this would be the front of the box and depending what you're putting in if it's something heavy you could put some adhesive on the little flaps as well and that just closes down And that's your card box. I really did mess that up when I punched that over. 
and yeah I didn't show you the inspiration for this <laughs> this was a, a little box of Jack Daniels a little bottle even of Jack Daniels was in there and you can see that closure there was a little tab but I didn't really want to copy that um, and they've also done a window there which would be cool you could do a window so you could see what's actually in the box as well so to close mine I've got some of the gorgeous celebration ribbon this you can get for free actually it comes with a pack of two where's the other one gold and silver flecks of rib uh in the ribbon gorgeous anyway i'm going to use some of that to close our box a nice bow on the front will do it. So, let's cut off a strip. Okay. It's a little bit loose, but oh well. Actually, that is way too loose. Let me tie that again. <laughs> That's better. So, let's get our loops a little bit bigger. Yep. Uh, scissors. And that is... Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> oh, there you go. So then you can open your box and put your little present inside and there's also a card. <clears throat> so you could even just just stamp that and then that bit up there you could write on or you can write on the other side of this card. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. That is our project for today. I hope you like it and you give it a try and I would love if you share it with your friends that would be awesome and so they can give it a go as well let me know um, what you think of it basically um, I love this paper and this ribbon is so uh, oh there you go see how sparkly it is and I hold it up and it was free it's awesome so yeah if you don't know about the celebration every 45 pound you spend you get to pick something for free so this is just one of the free goodies that you can have if you need a celebration brochure or spring summer catalogue or the annual catalogue just leave me a message um, in the comments below or over on my website there is a form where you can just fill in your details and I will send one out to you no charge for those of course because they're awesome you should you just need to have them so yeah if you would like one let me know and um, thank you very much for watching and for liking commenting and subscribing and i will see you all next time bye